Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Study Dreams. Today we are going to discuss the 6th chapter of class 6 science book that is changes around us. We all know the meaning of change and in this chapter we see the changes around us. To understand these changes, I show you some examples. First example is burning of candle. This is a candle which is start to burn. And with the passage of time, the shape and size of the candle gets changed. You can see a lot of difference in both the candles. So this difference is a change which shown in these candles. Same as there are some more examples of changing. First we have is breaking of glass. After breaking the glass, the size of the glass get changed. Next is freezing of popsicle. After freezing the liquid, this ice cream is obtained, which we have seen in this picture. Next is spoiling of milk. After the spoilage of milk, the property of the milk get completely changed. Next is mowing the grass. With the cutting of grass, the shape and size of the grass is completely changed. So same as we have more examples like slicing of bread, roasting of marshmallows, breaking an egg, exploring fireworks, mixing, squeezing, evaporation, burning toast, burning wood, popping popcorns, bleaching or coloring hair and melting chocolates. So these are the some examples which we show some changes around us. And now I am going to show you the changes which occur in us. So from this body to this old person, we face a difference of stages in a whole life. So these changes show us the changing factor in our body. Now we have the type of changes on the basis of reversibility. First we have reversible change and second irreversible change. Let's take example of reversible change. When we take this ice cream and heat it, it completely changed into liquid form. And if we again cool it, then we again found our ice cream back. So in this change, we get our original substance back. And if we talk about irreversible change, we took an egg yolk in a pan. And when we heat this pan, the shape and texture of the egg is completely changed. In this process, we cannot get our egg back. So this is a irreversible change in which we cannot get our original substance back. Let us discuss in detail. First we have reversible change. The change that can be reversed in original substance is called reversible change. Let us understand it with more example. Look at this picture. When we put some water in the freezer of a refrigerator, it will turn into ice. When we heat this ice, it start melting and change back into water. So this is a reversible change. This is a change in which we get our original, original substance back. So this is a reversible change. I have a next picture. This picture is very interesting because in this picture all the form of water is changed into each other form. Like first is evaporation. In this evaporation we take the liquid form of water and when heat it then the liquid start changing into water vapors as you can see. Next is condensation. In this condensation the water vapors get changed into back liquid form. So we get our water back in original form. And in the next process which is freezing, we freeze our liquid water and we get its solid state which is ice. And after melting this ice, we get our water back. So this is a whole process of water state in which uh, the state of the water is changed and show reversible changes. Next again I have a reversible process. I have a balloon. After blowing the air in this balloon, the shape and size of the balloon gets completely changed. 
and when we blowing out the air the size and shape of the balloon get back which is like this so this is also a reversible process in which we get our original substance back next is irreversible change the change that cannot reverse to get back the original substance is called irreversible change as if we have a egg yolk and heat it and cook it completely the shape size and texture of the egg is completely changed but we cannot reverse this process back the original form of the egg is not obtained any more so this is a reversible change next example is growth of plant a plant is grow from a seed and show changes from seed to plant and plant to tree but we cannot get back a seed from the tree because because of it is impossible same as growth of animal growth of human being growth of plants these all are impossible because these are the irreversible processes next i have a irreversible process by kneading the wheat flour we make dough and from this dough we make dough balls after rolling these balls we make our chapati but can we get our dough back from this chapati is it possible no we cannot get our dough back because it is not possible when we bake the raw materials we cannot get back our raw materials because this is a irreversible process so same as we cannot get our dough back next we have a yummy comparisons of reversible and irreversible change we have a chocolate and when we heat this chocolate the form of the chocolate get completely changed it comes in a liquid form and when we cool it our chocolate comes back so it is a reversible change but when we mix this chocolate with sugar milk flour and some more ingredients and bake it then we have a yummy cake can we get our ingredients back from this cake no it cannot possible because this is a irreversible change as i told you we cannot get our raw materials back from cooked or baked food so this is a irreversible process now we have type of changes on the basis of changes occur in the objects like shape size color property of objects difference so these are the changes which are shown in the objects so we have two type of changes first is physical and second is chemical i show you some examples of physical change like melting ice chopping wood shedding paper and mixing marbles same as chemical changes are burning wood rotting banana mixing vinegar and baking soda and and exploring fireworks so these are some examples let us discuss in detail first we have physical change a change in size shape or state but not in identity this is known as physical change it means we get the change in the object only in size shape and state it means the state of the object get changed size of the object get changed shape of the object can change but the property of the object cannot change this is a physical change like we have a piece of ice when we melt it the state of the ice get changed in liquid form so this is a physical change next is changes of state due to the change in state we have some physical changes first we have ice which is a solid state of water when we heat this ice it start melt and due to melting state of ice get changed into liquid form again when we heat this water due to evaporation the liquid form of water is changed into gas form like steam and if we condense this steam or water vapors 
then we get our liquid form back and if we freeze this liquid we get our ice back again so this is all a physical change in which there is a change in a state but the property of the water remain constant in the whole process and in all this process we get our original substance back so we can say this is a reversible process i show you some more examples we have a sheet of paper and when we cut it the piece of papers we have like this so in this process the shape and the size of the paper get completely changed but the property of this paper remain same so this is a physical change next example with the same paper when we fold this paper like this the shape and size of the paper is changed again but the property remains same this all shows the change in size and shape but do not show the change in property so this is known as physical change next is chemical change a change that produce a new substance and this substance the property is completely changed from the old one this is a chemical change like when we burn this woods then it changed into ash in this ash so the property of the ash is completely different from the property of wood so this is a chemical change in which we get a new substance from the old one second example we have burning of paper this is a piece of paper and when we burn the paper we get black ash so the property of the ash and the property of the paper is completely different and we get a new substance from this old one so this is a again a chemical change i want to ask you a question that can we turn back the ash into paper is it a reversible or irreversible process so the answer is it is a irreversible process because we cannot get our paper back from this ash next we have the example of rusting of iron this is a iron and when this iron is come in contact with moist air it means air with water vapors then the rusting of iron is done what is rusting rusting means a reddish brown color layer is covered on the iron like this you can see the difference between this iron and the rusted iron this is a covering of rust which cover the whole iron piece so in this rusting process the property get completely changed from iron to the rusted iron and in this process we get a new substance too so we can say this is a chemical process now we have a comparison of physical change and chemical change we do this comparison with the help of wood for a physical change when we cut this wood the shape and size of the wood get changed but the property remain same while when we burn this wood the, uh, this wood completely changed into ash and this prop and the property of ash and wood are completely different and we get ash as a new substance so this is all about physical change and chemical change now we have the causes of change it means from what reason these changes show around us first is mixing of two or more substances we discuss an example of baking cake like in this picture we discuss this example clearly in this example we make this cake from all the ingredients so what happen in this in this we add or mix up lot of ingredients like sugar chocolate milk etc so the cause of the change is mixing of two or more substance and make a new substance next we have chemical reaction i told you about rusting of iron in this example there is a chemical reaction between iron and moist air this chemical 
show you a change in this iron so we can say chemical reaction is also a cause of changes around us next we have heating and cooling heating and cooling are bring about a change in a physical state of matter for example this when we heat this ice cream the state of the ice cream get changed and when we cool it the state of this liquid again changed into solid form so this is a effect of heating and cooling last one we have application of force to understand this we again see this example in this example uh, when we blow a air in this balloon the shape and size get changed so the blowing of air is apply as an a force so with the help of force we get a change in this balloon and after blowing out this air we get our original substance back so this all about force which we apply on a substance so these all are the reason due to which we see changes around us next we have the question that what happen after cooling and heating to understand this answer we have a two terms expansion and contraction first is expansion when an object is heated and then size of the object get increased then this is called expansion on the other hand in in the contraction when an object is cooled and the size of the object get decreased then this is known as contraction so the expansion and contraction is based on heating and cooling respectively and size of the object get increased and decreased to get the proper understanding about the expansion and contraction i take the example of hot balloon look at this example carefully look at this pictures carefully in the first picture this man produce heat flame in the hot balloon to get expand this balloon so that this balloon get flow in the air like this with the expansion due to flame of heat this hot balloon can easily flow in the air can you see this picture in which the hot balloon get land so what technique is used in the landing of hot balloon there is a process of contraction at this time the flame of heat goes decreased and due to the coolness the process of contraction apply and slowly gets moved downward on towards the land so this is a whole process in which the hot balloons move in the air so with the production of heat like this the size of the balloon get increased like this and slowly with the help of cooling the size of the balloon get decreased like this so this is known as expansion and contraction next we have the question why gaps between railway tracks the answer is expansion of railway tracks you might have seen all the small gaps between two adjacent railway tracks like this this is a gap between the tracks as the rails being made of iron they get expand in a summer season due to heat and this gap provides space for expansion so that is why these gaps are built up in the railway tracks so this is the end of our chapter i hope you like my video to get more notification about my videos hit the bell icon and please like and share my video we will meet soon in our next video till now bye